Welcome to our deep dive into a shocking incident that's been making waves in Hollywood. Today, we unravel a story that sounds like it's straight out of a movie script, but believe it or not, this drama unfolded behind the scenes of the film Maxine. We're talking about allegations against one of the industry's rising stars, Mia Goth. Now picture this, bright lights, action-packed scenes, and a bustling movie set that is a hub of creativity and chaos. Here in this charged atmosphere, a rising star is at the center of it all. But things take a twist. Legal battles, shocking allegations, and a film industry caught in the crossfire. What went down on the set of Maxine, and what is Mia Goth's role in this Hollywood spectacle? Mia Goth, the enigmatic star and actress, well known for her captivating roles, is now at the epicenter of a legal whirlwind. Actor James Hunter, a background performer, has taken a bold step by filing a legal battle against Mia Goth, known for her captivating performances. So what exactly happened on the set of Maxine? It was April 2023, a day that was expected to be just another step in creating movie magic, but it turned into something far more disturbing. James Hunter, tasked with playing the Ewe role of dead parishioner, was lying motionless in the dirt, embodying his character. As per the script, Mia Goth, who stars as the intriguing Maxine, was supposed to delicately step over him. However, according to Hunter, the scene took a disturbing turn. In a twist that no one saw coming, Hunter claims that during the fourth take, Goth's booth made jarring contact with his head, but this was no mere accident, according to the lawsuit. Hunter alleges that after a close call in a previous take, he voiced his concerns, but to no avail. He claims that after alerting the second assistant director about the near miss, Goth retaliated. The next take escalated into what Hunter describes as a deliberate act of aggression by Goth. This alleged incident has raised serious concerns about actor conduct and safety measures during filming. Despite warnings to be careful, Goth allegedly kicked Hunter in the head deliberately during the next take. The result? A severe concussion, marked by headaches, neck stiffness, and a whirlwind of confusion and disorientation. He even claims no medical assistance was provided on set. The incident highlights the unspoken conflicts and difficulties that can occur on set, which are a frequently ignored component of the filmmaking process. It brings up significant concerns regarding how crew people and background actors are treated, as they are vital to the filmmaking process, but frequently stay in the background. Regardless of their function, all people participating in a production should be respected and acknowledged, as this incident has spurred a larger industry conversation about. It underscores the need for a harmonious and respectful environment, where every member of the production feels valued and safe. This physical ordeal was compounded by what Hunter describes as a psychological battle. Yet, the story doesn't end there. Hunter's allegations take an even darker turn. These claims have sent ripples through the industry sparking debates about on-set protocols and the duty of care owed to every individual involved in the production. He describes an encounter in the bathroom where he claims Goth mocked and belittled him. Imagine the turmoil and distress he must have felt. What's more, he says the fake blood had stuck to his body, so peeling off the bloodstained robe caused more pain, and he claims he experienced headaches on the drive home and nearly passed out twice during the trip. The repercussions of that fateful scene didn't just fade away with the director's cut. Hunter was also unexpectedly removed from the production, with no explanation from the casting agency. He also reports ongoing trauma, vertigo, migraines, nightmares, a cocktail of symptoms that paint a picture of severe emotional distress. But wait! There's more. 
It is not just about allegations. James Hunter is taking it up a notch, slapping Mia Goth with a lawsuit that is sending shockwaves through the industry. This lawsuit, with its high-profile defendants and explosive allegations, has the potential to become a landmark case in the film industry. He is now standing up for himself, taking on not just Goth, but also director Ty West and the production company A24, the production powerhouse behind Maxine, adding a layer of complexity. Hunter's lawsuit seeks justice on multiple fronts, battery against Mia Goth, citing intentional harm, and wrongful termination against A24. The stakes are high, with Hunter demanding compensation for medical expenses, rehabilitation, and related costs totaling a staggering $250,000. But he doesn't stop there. He is also seeking punitive damages, a move that escalates the lawsuit's severity. This lawsuit does more than just highlight a single incident on a movie set. It opens up a conversation about on-set safety, actor responsibility, and the duty of production companies to maintain a secure working environment. The ramifications of this case could have a profound impact on how future productions are managed. With potential changes to safety protocols and actor interactions on set, as the case unfolds, the spotlight turns to the intricate dynamics of film production, where every cast and crew member plays a crucial role in creating cinematic magic under safe conditions. The incident also poses serious questions about the impact on Mia Goth's career and the production of Maxine. Known for her roles in Pearl and X, Goth's performance in this latest film is overshadowed by these allegations. How will this affect her reputation in the industry and the film's reception? As we follow the developments of this legal drama, we are reminded of the fragile nature of the film industry. The collaborative efforts of the cast and crew are essential, but so is a respectful and safe atmosphere on set. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the complexities and challenges faced by those in the limelight and behind the scenes. What do you think about this controversy? Is this an isolated incident or a symptom of a larger issue in Hollywood? Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for more insights into the world of cinema.